Hi, hello, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be building uh, the West African lion habitat, uh, their little pride land. It's going to be very typical Lion King reminiscent. It's got a little pride rock esque thing in the middle of it, and they get their home is in a big old cave. Uh, so, this was like my third time trying to build this habitat uh, because what I wanted to do was being a pain. I wanted to have it all sunken down and so the guests kind of look down into the enclosure instead of it being half sunken and then half risen back up again. But I think it turned up looking all right. It was just the track ride was giving me a bit of a problem, the Jeep. Um, but I think it turned out all right. Now, uh, as you'll see in the little um, in-person tour, uh, the my problem is that the lions lay down on the track too often and therefore the ride can't run which is fine that just means all my guests are now lion meat so which so exciting so here you can just see me fiddling with all the um leveling of terrain and trying to cover the track and here is the beginning of the little cave thing i wanted to i struggle building like caves with pure rock on their own so i wanted to build up the actual natural terrain first and then put rocks on top of them and then although i've got my settings set to that they can't escape uh, for some reason i decided i wanted to raise all the barriers i don't know um i forget that i'm in sandbox mode sometimes and that i can just build instead of um trying to make it perfect for the animals but i do want to make it perfect for the animals uh, at the same time, I don't want it to be a place where they would be unhappy. But, um, yeah, I don't know why I changed the, um, <laughs> changed the fencing. They can't escape. That's in the settings. And so I really like this new, f um, trick I found. So I can basically make, like, the aquatic rocks, but with the small, like, $5 rocks, if you put them lower down. And then you can raise them up and down, and then so they look different, but still like a cluster of rocks. Which is quite cool, and so I've, you can probably see I've done that in multiple of my videos now. Uh, but here is my pride rock, my version of our small little pride rock, which the lions can get up onto. I've also put a enrichment item up there, just to entice them a bit more. And then here is the lovely covering of their cave in many, many rocks. Obviously I didn't want it to look just like ground, especially because I'm in a temperate environment and not the kind of environment or like dirt sort of thing that they would naturally be in um so i just wanted to cover it in rocks and make it look more like it could be something that had naturally stumbled across but also um like i've said it is a man-made zoo and it is meant to be a zoo that you go to view animals at and so everything within the enclosures has been man-made and so i don't mind it looking a bit like they've made a made a rock cave because they have they have that's what they've done but at least it's going to be a nice looking rock cave and so i kept initially just going oh i'll just do the front i'll just do the front covered with rocks and then it just moved further and further back and then by the end of it i have covered i have covered the whole thing in rocks which is fine it looks good it just took me a little while and figuring out and layering and twizzling of rocks which is fine. I was watching the H3 podcast while doing this, which was very good. Their family's one. Uh, very funny. I, I would recommend. I would recommend. So yeah, just lots of rocks, lots of placing of rocks. Um, I'm trying to make it look good. And then uh, I struggled a bit with put, what like trees to put, if I should put any foliage on there. But obviously because it would just, just be rocks, not much would grow there. And so I kind of just left it and put my, my favourite durian grass over it a bit in the hopes that that would add a bit of greenery and then elsewhere in the enclosure is where I put the greenery also decided to cover the whole inside of the cave but I guess that is quite good actually because from the path the guests can see inside and so you want to make it look alright and then obviously the they're a big cat, they like climbing, and so I didn't want to build my own climbing frame, so I did just use one of the pre-made 
climbing frames, which I don't mind, and then just decorated it with some rocks, put down some enrichment items, and then started with, with me lovely greenery. We love some greenery. Who Who is a Planet Zoo creator that doesn't love greenery? Or excessive amounts of rocks also. So the rocks have started. I think the rocks make them glitch a bit when they use it, but that's fine. I don't mind too much. <laughs> And luckily I didn't struggle as much with this habitat about what trees to use, which I quite enjoyed because I sometimes struggle with that. At least in the elephant and the safari um, habitat I did struggle a bit, but this time I was... I sort of had a vision in my head and was going with it. And this is one of the first enclosures where I didn't mind too much if it didn't fit the needs of the animals so well. Because I know some people just want to create really nice looking habitats and they don't mind if the it means that it doesn't fit the habitat dwellers, the, the inhabitants of the habitats needs very well, especially in sandbox mode. But um, I tried, I tried my best and I think it worked. Um, so this bit took me forever. This is, I tried, I just obviously because they're lions, they're quite dangerous animals. I wanted this like raised path, theoretically, children could like run over and like jump into the enclosure so we don't want that and so i put a fence all the way around and obviously used the fence that we had made for the initial meerkat enclosure to keep the theme going keep it all keep it all going around and it just took me a while because the fence wasn't ex wasn't perfectly straight and then i couldn't duplicate everything so i just had to place it all one by one which was a little bit annoying but it means it looks nice, so who can complain, really? I will. I there'll be a little video after this one about not about anything, but sh um, with me putting the actual lions in and having a bit more of an in-person tour, like normal. But because this isn't a stream, I did this off-stream, and we'll be continuing to be building Lily Pad Manor off-stream uh, because my computer is struggling with all the pieces. Um, and trying to stream it at the same time. Um, so yeah, I was able to put the uh, animals in with you guys, I guess. Which was good. I enjoyed that. I've already filmed that and then I'm now filming the voiceover. So, you know. So yeah, I shall now be going to that video in a minute. And I shall see you uh, there. Well, hello there, and welcome to the sort of in-person adding the animals into the enclosure part of this video. So I've got the animals being moved over now. I think we've got, I want to say four lions. I bought six, but I think I'm going to go put four in. And so they shall be being brought over. I don't know if I filmed me decorating this sort of front bit of the enclosure with a little sculpture and some trees i might make these into little planters or put like planters around here uh, because i've kind of done this oh i've also done this so i have set off the jeep ride i finished it i made a little bridge out of some rocks and then over here we've added some shops i've got the first half of a planter going on so this is what i might do over here with the um two corners of this sort of entrance up to the little viewing area so i have a feeling this might be a bit too small for the lions but i uh, did too much work to be bothered <laughs> quite frankly and so i'm just gonna leave it as it is um because we're in sandbox mode so they don't need to be perfect conditions for the animals it just needs to look nice and i'm quite proud of this little cave i kind of wanted it reminiscent of lion king obviously kind of here's the kind of pride rock kind of esque thing we've got in the middle here and then obviously they sleep in a big cave from what i can remember i haven't watched the films in forever so yeah and so once they're in we'll change up the uh grass a bit so it fits what they want because i'm not i don't really mind too much about how much the terrain paint changes it's just the like layout and the size that is a pain to change but overall, I am quite proud of it. Ooh, here is our first lion. 
Hello, hello. Ooh, lovely ladies. Oh, there's our big boy. Some more wham in. Hello, friends. How are you doing? Right, let's check. Let's pause it quickly. Let's check that you can traverse everywhere. You can get out at all of these points. Fab. Uh, not my problem, but can you get everywhere? Yes, you can climb up there. You can climb one of these trees. You can get up there. You can get in there. Fabulous. This is what we like to see. And so the environment... The plants are fine. They've got lots of room. But the terrain... We'll let them run about see what happens. They need a bit more short grass. A bit less soil. Um, well, soz pals. But look. Look at them. Hello, pretty ladies. Big cats. It is Leo season after all. Happy August. I'm filming this on August 1st. So, happy August. They do have the track ride going through. Um... I quite liked the idea of having it sort of go through the pride uh, area uh, because it reminded me of Longleat, like which is a zoo in the UK that is quite heavy for um, their drive-through lion exhibit, which is very fun. All right, I'll change these. Oh, she's using a little rubbing pad. Very cute. And luckily, I think this space might actually be all right for them. Mmm, yeah it is. Oh, that's good. Um, so, it is actually good for them overall. They're all very worried about going through. Oh, and here is the Jeep ride, which is about to come through. Our big man is laying on the uh, track, but I'm sure this will be fine. I'm def I'm sure, 100% sure it's definitely not going to glitch. These rocks might be a bit... No, okay. Pals, you might want to move. Raw. Oh, yeah, you're just going to be paused there. Fab. Well, you don't know. That's a bit dangerous, isn't it? But I think they've got quite a good view. The guests of the lions they seem to be very happy about it. Oh, good. It's doing the glitch where I can't see any of the tabs that are open. But, yeah. I'm quite happy with it. I'm quite happy with how it looks. I think it's cool, especially the track ride coming through and the fact they can get stopped by it, which is fun. Uh, what else did I do? So yeah, I'll give you a bit more of a tour. I moved the... Because I know in the safari videos, the um, jeep would be up here at the top between the rhino house and the giraffe house. But I decided to move it down here because it was less of a pain to get the track to finish. And I thought I could make this cool bridge, which I'd have to create anyway. And so I've made it sort of look all rocky and cool. And then there's some shops and I'm going to fill this in with foliage, I think. Sort of similar to what I've done here. But with probably a few more bushes and whatnot. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Hopefully, if you like this content, you should give it a like. Um, and if you want to see more, please feel free to subscribe eventually hopefully next time you're here this jeep would have moved and um our guests will be free because currently they are just lion meat so yes thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i shall see you very soon uh, bye bye